Hello, this is the Roche the Rochia, and I am back. I am here with another episode of our build challenge. So, um, we got a few things to discuss. That's all there is to it. So, last night, I finished um, a build challenge that I was working on with my son. Uh, we were both, well, we were both in the, in the game. We didn't actually work on the build together. Uh, we got a Harold Iron Fist back again, and he'll be helping me do my stuff here. Harold Iron Fist is my character that I use uh, to play with, uh, to play the game on. Okay, so, um, topics of discussion. What we need to discuss is um, the direction, the direction of my channel as well as um, the reason why I do these build challenges, the reasons why I want to do these build challenges, and why I d came up with this idea to do them and to play build challenges instead of just doing a standard let's play or something of that nature. So. Let's discuss that first. So, the reason that I chose to do these build challenges, and why I mentioned that I finished a build challenge yesterday, is because it kind of legitimized everything that I thought I wanted to do with this build challenge and made it so that I actually rethought how much more of this build challenge stuff I'm going to do. I'm actually going to be sticking with this build challenge thing for a long time with uh, what I do on the channel as far as Minecraft goes. Now, is that going to be the only thing I do on on this channel? No, absolutely not. My channel is going to be going in a different direction for the most part. The main parts, the main um, content on my channel is not going to be build challenges in the future. But right now, it is kind of the main part of my cha channel because uh, that's what I that's the easiest and the easiest way to actually do my stuff so for today's episode what we need to do on this episode is we need to get out there to where we need where we're going to build that's probably objective number one to get it getting started and then it will be more gathering resources and stuff like that but I'm gonna just throw that cactus down there so that we have more cactus growing all right so and we almost got this so that the pumpkins will all grow that way because that's the way we want them to grow all right and doo -doo -doo. all right so so yeah, so the build challenges. So this build, the build challenge that I was working on, or that me and my son were both playing together, was one that I wasn't doing as a recorded, as a recorded thing. I was doing it as uh, just some fun for me and me and my son to do. And I actually did a video last night uh, showing off the completed build. Now, the only thing that's actually completed on it is just the structure. The actual, so there's not actually, um, there's not, it's not decorated or anything inside the build. And you can go take a look at it, it's really cool. The build is, I got really excited last night when I finished it, uh, I finished the structure, and so I, stopped stopped building and I was like oh I gotta show this and so I hurried and recorded it and put it out there or hurried and recorded it and I was really excited and showed it off so it's there sorry I need to uh, check my build challenge because I need to check those coordinates one more time all right we are at negative 548 and 258 for this build challenge this is where we're supposed to start that build challenge. Um, 
and the height is 74. Height is 74. So we need to go two higher than where we're at right now. Okay, well, that will work. All right, so I'm going to go down and get some sleep right here. Then we are going to go and get out to where we're supposed to be. So there we go. Get in bed. Oh, um, this one. So I have pretty much two options on this one. And the options are to build out there and build at the height of where I'm supposed to be. Or I could actually build out on the water and then do it and then go up. Um, and I think I'm going to take the option C of just actually build both. Okay, so I guess that wasn't an option that I actually presented at first, but it's, it kind of is an option. Um, oh, before I run off, I should grab, I was going to, I was thinking if I'm going to build out there, I probably should do it in sand. Um, not in cobblestone. I have lots of cobblestone, but I don't think that's what I want to build out there in because I want the want it to be able to be taken back down. And so that means that I need sand. I've got plenty of shovels, but what I need is some food. And so I was going to come in here and make my bread. That's what I was planning on doing. Okay, coming back here. But now that I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking that we need to go over to the mainland and collect dirt because uh, that's where the most dirt is and that is also what I need most right now is some dirt. Um, oh, I, re <laughs> I realized, w I watched my video later and realized, you know what, I left a uh, floating or a tree up above the ground. I should have put this tree under the ground when I was here before and I didn't. Um, we'll just go ahead and use this to get it. So I don't know why I left that up above the ground, but one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that will work just perfect. Okay, there we go. So yeah, I should have laid this down in. I was watching the video and I was like, Oh, idiot. You just stuck that on top of the stone instead of putting it down in the stone. What were you thinking? Um, and I don't know why these trees aren't growing. These trees should be growing right now. Hmm. Anyway, we'll uh, discuss that mystery later. I guess I haven't. it hasn't been that long but since I planted them. So maybe that's why. Maybe they just haven't grown yet. I haven't. Okay, see, so the mainland is not really all that far, and it's going to be the best place to gather dirt, especially. Um, we're probably going to need to buy, get a lot, lot of sand as well, so we'll probably be coming back to, to, to basically wreck the beaches and maybe those islands over there, or maybe we'll just go over on that mountain right there and dig a bunch of that up. But anyway, not roll now. Let's see. Okay. Dirt, 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 dirt. Okay, so what we decided, or what I'm thinking about building on this one, is a floating island. A floating crystal island is what I'm hoping to do. Uh, but I haven't figured out the crystal part completely yet. In fact, the crystal part is only an idea in my head. It's not actually... You know what? The sound on this is a little bit high. At least the sound for... For uh, the... Um, the volume of the game. Uh, and I don't know if the sound for my voice is high or not, but the sound for the game was a little bit high. Yeah, there we go. That's, that's better. So I was hearing the music and I was hearing me dig a lot more than I was hearing my voice. Um, I don't even know if I'm hearing my voice now, but in any case, um, the, yeah, the Crystal Island is an idea in my head. I have never ever actually built a Crystal Island. 
and I don't know how it will turn out, but I think that if I build this, if I build this crystal island and it looks good, I will be even more excited about this crystal island than I was about my domicile that I built in the last one. I started calling it a domicile. I guess I was probably tired last night when I finished it. But I thought it was hilarious that I called it a domicile. Because it is actually a dome underwater. A fairly large dome underwater. And so I started calling it a domicile. And it fit. It works. So yeah, that's going to be the domicile. And I may... I'm probably not going to rename the world because the world is actually named uh, Kingdom B and K. And that is because when well, my son's name is Caden and so it's Dad and Caden. Or Dad and Cade actually, which is short for Caden. Um, so because it's our world together, that's why, why I actually named it that. So I think I probably gonna leave it leave the name of it but I have pretty well named my first build my first structure my domicile so and then um, so yeah the the direction of this channel the direction of my YouTube channel is going to be changing so right now the content that I've got is exclusively Minecraft build challenge which is not bad I like this I've enjoyed this like some of uh, my content some of the things that I've done ha are probably not all that entertaining like right now I'm digging a whole bunch of dirt not exactly the most entertaining TV however um, I'm hoping that my commentary does add something to it and you guys can actually enjoy it just by listening to it really more than um, actually watching me dig a whole bunch of dirt. Um, but the direction of my channel will be changing. So the original idea that I had for starting this channel and the original reason that I started this channel wasn't to play Minecraft all the time on it. Uh, the original reason was because I wanted to, I'm a gamer and I started out as a gamer long, long, long ago. I think I've discussed this a little bit. And I felt, I feel like I am a little bit misunderstood as a gamer and as a person. And I would much rather be more understood uh, and so that's one of the biggest reasons that I actually started this channel was so that I could help people understand who I am and how I work a little bit better. Um, because I, and one of the reasons for that is because I know that I'm not alone in, uh, how I feel and how, and the type of person that I am. I know that I'm not the only person that's like this, that is a gamer and that has grown up into games and truly loves games, for one, um, and who feels misunderstood. So gamers, in and of themselves, are very uh, are a very misunderstood group of people. They think the the general opinion of gaming is that we're all very lazy um, single uh, white males mostly uh, who sit around and just game game all the time and never get out don't have a job live in their mother's basement you know all the stereotypes of gamers and that's just not true I'm I mean one, I'm a bit old for being a true gamer because the gaming community actually started really taking off after after I 
after me. Uh, so, um, I'm 37 years old. The gaming community is filled mostly with 20-somethings and maybe early 30s. So, I was about, say, probably five to seven years late on the whole gaming gaming scene. I really, uh, most of the people my age are not gamers. Um, but my opinion is, is that is not because they don't enjoy games. It's because games weren't popular. Games weren't a big deal before then. Uh, and if you played video games when I was a kid, you were the weird kid. Just, just the whole idea of you playing video games instead of wanting to do sports and go out and play and stuff like that, that made you the weird kid. Um, I was the weird kid for that and other reasons. I would prefer being inside, playing with puzzles and games and the likes of that instead of actually going outside and playing sports and games and things outside. That was my preference. That was not what I did. Because I did play sports. I did play uh, games outside. And I truly loved playing other games outside and things like that. Like night games and stuff like that. That was really fun. And I think that a lot of that has gone away for the kids today anyway. They don't do that that much. Uh, in fact, <laughs> they might even be thinking right now as I'm talking... What in the world are night games? So what a night game is, is we used to, when we were kids, we would go out, usually just before or just after dark, and we would play games. Um, all kinds of different games as kids around the community and we would actually run all over town. I, I'm from small town, so we would actually convene down by the church. Uh, we'd use that kind of as our home base and we'd go play around from there. You, there's possibly, in fact, other groups and other people, they would convene at the park and that's where they, you'd play the games from. You'd play them from the park or you'd play them from a community center or something like that but the fact of the matter is is a whole bunch of kids got together they went to a, a common location that's where they started and you would play games from there you play tag you'd play um, uh, much older than me is kick the can they had um, hide and go seek those were some of the simpler ones I don't know. It's been a long time, so I haven't played any of these games for a long time, but um, they were pretty common when I was a kid. You would go and you would play games out on the street, and it was a whole lot of fun. We weren't really all that concerned about uh, someone getting lost or hurt or anything like that because we were all together and we were all having fun together and we all took care of each other and we all had fun. That was the whole objective, was having fun together. And, and that was great. I loved it. And a lot of other kids at the time loved it as well but parents became more and more worried about their kids going out and playing on the street um, kids started getting into mischief things like that and it kinda died and went away nobody wanted to hear about it nobody would let their kids go do it anymore and um, I think we lost something pretty important for kids the ability to get out away from home be a little bit independent and actually learn how to uh, play games with their peers. So this was this did help. This helped me to become a little bit more social, a little bit less um, locked into myself, and 
um, a little bit. And the other thing that kept me from actually being the stereotypical gamer is my parents. My parents didn't understand a gamer, and they I don't I don't even think they still understand what it means for me to be a gamer and um, why I still identify myself as a gamer because they they pretty well fought against me actually being a gamer. Um, they uh, thought it was strange. It was weird to play games, video games and the likes. My dad was okay with it. He understood that it's kind of fun. Uh, he even played a few video games. He, it's just, um, he, uh, video games were more of a, uh, oh, well, I've got a little bit of time. I might as well just go and play a game. Um, whereas he would much rather be going and doing something outside, which I don't blame him. I mean, there are fun things to do outside, and he is definitely more of the mindset of being able to build something in real life then build something on a game. Whereas me, I would rather spend less effort, less physical effort to build and do something like this, build on a game. So what I'm doing is I'm actually building out towards that 258 and then I'll turn and I'll go the other direction to build out um, to the negative 548. Uh, so 258 is what we're going, yeah, okay, 258. But, so, the direction, oh, I keep falling off, and I really wish I didn't, but I do. I guess I could crouch, but I don't want to. I kind of like the speed uh, that you can travel by not crouching. I just need to actually concentrate on what I'm doing and actually get it done, instead of continuing to get distracted by, by uh, what I'm talking to you guys about. Um... But it, no, that is a bad distraction. Um, just that. Okay, two fifty-eight. Okay, so yeah, my dad played some games, and that was cool. He'd even play with us sometimes. In fact, the first gaming that I had was an Atari that my dad had. Um, that my dad had got, and it was an old Atari, and it was only maybe once a month, if even that, that we were able, that we were allowed to pull it out and play some games on it. I really enjoyed playing it, and so I would have had it out all the time, plugged into the TV all the time, and played it like crazy. If my dad had let me, if my dad and mom had let me, actually, I would have played it a lot more than I did. But no, my mom and dad were more of the mindset of let's force these kids to get out and do something outside. And it did help. It did help me to get out there and do a little bit more. Really, I don't think my parents would have minded too much if I wanted to stay in the house more. But I kind of wanted to get outside a little more too as well. So um, I enjoyed my time outside just as much as I enjoyed my time inside. Uh, but... If I had my choice of activities to do, it would have been video gaming instead of... Okay, so this is the actual location, the exact location for our build. So this, we're going to make the center of the build. So in my last one, in the one that I just finished the build, that I didn't record, I'm kind of kicking myself in the butt for not recording that one because... That would have been a really cool, really cool to so, to show you guys the process of actually building it as well, um, like I have with this one. The problem with this one is that though I okay, let's see, negative five forty-eight, so that's the spot. Okay, so the the problem with showing you guys everything about what happens with the build. is that it's not the most exciting entertainment for you guys to just sit and watch me build like even this just placing dirt around out here on this far place away from my camp is kind of boring it's not, to be honest it's just not the most exciting viewing that you could probably participate in 
And I understand that. I understand it's not all that exciting. But you get to see how the island or how everything pulls together, how the build actually starts, how it, how it st develops into something more than just um, a bunch of dirt and whatever else. So back to when I was growing up, I, I did, I gamed, I gamed as much as I could. Uh, that was limited because of my parents and because of the time period that I was growing up in. See, the time period that these kids are growing up in now, I feel like they have a lot more time that they can spend gaming simply because parents don't want them out of the house that as much. They don't want them to be out where they, the parents don't have the control, don't have the ability to, to check on their kids all the time which I believe hurts the children of today um, because they don't get to be a, out there and playing as much. Because a gamer is more than just a video gamer. A gamer can be um, a board gamer. A gamer can be um, a sport enthusiast because sports is just a game as well. Which actually pulls me back again to the purpose that I started this channel for. Purpose was not to um, just play games on it. The purpose was to actually talk about real issues facing both gamers today as well as real life people today. Um, because my opinion is, and it, and to re relate it all to gaming because gaming is a very important part of my life. And that is what I relate a lot of my stuff to. A lot of what I do is related to gaming. And I relate it to gaming because that's my passion. That's what I'm passionate about is gaming or playing games. Uh, so gaming has a couple of different meanings. And one of those is actual um, gambling gaming. So poker and the likes with uh, ga gambling stuff. I don't do that. I've never gambled and I probably never will. Or at least not gambled with real money. I have actually played poker. Uh, but it was, we divided up the chips and then we saw who was able to, to win the most chips type of a deal. Instead of actually playing with real money and giving the chips real money values. Yeah, that's just not what we did. Um, what part of that was because my parents didn't approve of gambling. Um, they still don't. Um, and really, I don't really approve of gambling. I mean, why risk my money on some, on a, something that's not a sure thing when I could just use my money to, I could just keep my money for one and I, most of the time I'd rather do that. So what I'm doing is I'm widening this out. And one of the big reasons I do that is because I do want the grass to spread out there. Uh, on my last, on my other build challenge, though, I was fortunate enough to get a grass block from an Enderman who died in the rain. I don't think I'm going to get that lucky on this one. So that means I need a different way to get grass out to the island where my first build is going to be. Because I do want grass on the top of the island, on top of Crystal Island. Um, and you guys might think, well, how do you do a Crystal Island? Well, in order to make it a Crystal Island, what the part that's going to actually be crystal is going to be the bottom. It's going to have spikes that shoot out from the bottom of it in... Uh, and those are going to be the crystal part of the island. Um, and then on top of the island, there it, it could possibly be a crystal castle or something of that nature. Now, what's going to be in the place of actual crystals is probably going to be glass. That's probably what I'm going to use as the actual crystal for the island. And um, so 
I'm going to widen this whole thing out to three wide so that the grass starts growing out there. As it actually started doing um, yesterday. The game yesterday, not actual yesterday like the day before today in real life, but in game life um, yesterday, the day before today. So I just barely slept before I slept. That was yesterday on the game. In case you were confused. But anyway, yeah. So yeah, see as the, the grass started spreading to come over across here. If you have a wider one, then it actually spreads faster and it goes faster to get out there. And that's one of the reasons that it's getting, that I'm widening it out. Um, yeah. So... So yeah, well, there were several reasons that I started this channel, and one of them was to gain understanding as to who I am and what I do, uh, and also what a gamer is, and uh, to kind of dispel some of the stereotypes of gamers, because I really got sick of people thinking that gamers were a bunch of slackers and morons. The fact of the matter is, most gamers are very intelligent people. Um, and they have real lives and do real things um, outside of their gaming lives. So um, even the ones that even the gamers that are fortunate enough to make a career of gaming, they have other lives and they actually do other things. My thought goes. Is my thoughts travel to things like I has Cupquake, who is a YouTuber that does Minecraft videos as well as other videos, and she on her YouTube channel eventually gets married and um, and so she is actually doing more than just gaming. She's actually expanding her life in general um then there's lewis blog lewis blogs i don't know how to say the rest of his lewis blog gamings lewis blogs gaming and he da, he is an actor um went to school graduated as a full-fledged actor um and he also does youtube and plays games uh, one of the, his main games is Minecraft, and he has some really interesting and entertaining uh, videos about videos of him playing Minecraft. He does Minecraft Let's Plays mostly. Uh, so, gamers are not the stereotypical. So, and I have Cupquake uh, is a woman. She's a woman, and. Um, a very intelligent woman as far as when I've seen her in the videos that I've watched her and she's very intelligent and very does very well on her YouTube channel um, and then Lewis Blogs Gaming he does his acting he also does his YouTube stuff he plays his games he's a gamer but he has another life outside of his gaming me I am a gamer uh, I I love playing games. I play games as much as I can. But I have a job. Actually, I have a career. Um, I have kids. I have a wife. I have a house. Um, and I take care of all of those things. Those are all responsibilities that I take care of and that I enjoy on top of my gaming uh um, my son plays games with me on a regular basis. Both my sons do. My daughter will play games with me. Um, and are they gamers? Eh, kind of. Not really. Do they enjoy games? Yeah. Um, and part of this channel is also the fact that all of us are a little bit gamers, really. When it comes down to it, games can be enjoyed by anybody. 
no matter who you are, no matter what you do, games can be enjoyed by everybody. Uh, now, I do understand that there are some people that just will not play games and actually view games as evil, even some of them. But my opinion is that it's not the case. Games are not evil. Games will not uh, influence your kids to go and shoot, especially not this one. I mean, really, is Minecraft ever, ever going to influence a kid to go out and shoot someone? No. Um, dang it. My headphones are going to kill, kill out on me. They've done this before. And I hope that they actually don't. So I sh disabled the shutdown, but I am also going to end this episode. Um, now, I didn't get a whole lot of discussion as to... Well, actually, we kind of discussed where this channel is going, and I'm glad that we did. But anyway, this is the Roach the Roachia, and I will be ending this episode here, but we will be coming back with an episode, and we will also, on the next episode, discuss more of the direction of where this channel is going, because I am not finished with what I wanted to say about where it's going. Um, so, see you soon, and go ahead, if you like, like this video, go ahead and hit a like down, in, down at the bottom of the video. Um, likes help out my channel, they help, help me decide, okay, is this a video people like, is this something that people want to see more of? Uh, also, I will be getting better at this, this is just a start for my channel, and whether this video lasts the duration of things or not, I don't know. We'll see. I'm hoping it does, and even if it ends up that I re-edit it, or I re rework it uh, in the future so that it is a little bit easier, a little bit better, and maybe even do a voiceover, maybe even do a camera where I actually go through it. I'm planning on uh, eventually learning more about editing, more about my thumbnails, and more about everything else to make this channel better, greater, more wonderful, so that you guys can really truly enjoy this channel. But for now, goodbye, and we will see you again.